Hello, everybody. Uh, we're here. We're back, uh, and uh, I want to thank you uh, for keeping in touch, for staying, staying in contact, staying in touch. I think I like. I look like I have something here. What is it? It's a plant. <laughs> it looks like like I, like I have a horn. <laughs> well, anyway, I wanted to make today's video. Uh, one, because I have a day off oh, for the first time in weeks. I mean, it feels so good. And this is one of the reasons why I haven't been posting so regularly. Uh, many things have changed. I have had some ups and downs. Nothing major. Nothing, nothing truly, uh, uh, like, nothing bad. Everything has been good. Even even the, 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 the downs have been really, really good. And uh, I want to I want to make a a, a quick uh, um, review of what has happened in the last few weeks because the last the last video or blog that I posted I think it was about finding my cure and uh, I don't remember exactly what did I say on that, on that video. However, the cure has been very, very latent, has been very tangible uh, since I achieved that self-hypnosis, time-traveling transformation that truly uh, changed my life changed my life. Forget about changing my life. It didn't change my life outside. It changed the way I see myself. And over the days, over the many days, weeks that have passed since that remarkable time, um, my life has taken a very different uh, tonality very different different colors have come alive and perspectives and ideas and projects and I don't know everything has has just it starts, it starts beginning to look different and very very cool I continue with all my practices being off HIV medication is not something that I have taken lightly. It is something that I have uh, taken in full responsibility and awareness of what needs to happen uh, within myself. Because obviously when we have, or what I believe is that when we have the support mechanism from the outside, aka the, the medication and the therapy and the treatment and all that stuff that is given to us so we can somehow stay strong and healthy. And we take all these uh, mechanisms off. We cannot just pretend, or I, I couldn't just pretend that everything will be okay just by simply wishful thinking. Because I tried that for many, many years, like a lot of times. A lot of times I thought that only by the power of my presence and the power of my mind and the connection with my spirit, I will manage to, to transform my reality. And it wasn't so. Many times, Many times I fell, I, uh, I completely failed my, my progress and saw myself ill many times, very, very dangerously ill, like close to death, like in coma, like so, so weak that I couldn't get up from my bed. and. Uh, over the years, and alone, and just being able to use very, very wisely the information that I was getting from people, from circumstances, 
from different uh, uh, from different in directions of life that that would arrive into into mine and would give me one piece of information or or would give me an advice or a suggestion that would just click in the right time in the right place and little by little I began realizing that it cannot <coughs> just be oh I take off the medication because <coughs> I'm sorry I'm taking my protein shake and I put a lot of strawberries and berries and although it's delicious it's full of tiny 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 seeds that get stuck into my <coughs> throat and make me cough <coughs> so um, I real what I was saying is that what I realized with the GS is that it needs a lot of effort from our part for my part, it needed, I needed to put everything that I was capable of becoming, of doing, of, a, of thinking, and even of stop doing, because I think stop doing many things is very, very important. Anyway, anyway, um, after the big cure that I somehow channeled or connected to or uh, I don't know that became my reality that cu that cure meant the switch in my brain where I r suddenly realized I was not broken and there was nothing to repair. Boink. I know it sounds so silly because that is like a sentence. Uh, a belief, a thought, an idea. But obviously before all this process, back to the uh, middle ages of my life, that idea was inconceivable because I always believed to be broken. Uh, I believed that there was something really, really wrong about me. And that belief was supported by the many events that I had in my past that were very, very painful uh, and created huge amount of suffering and insecurity, and fear, and blah, 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 all that shit that creates all the drama in life. So, after coming to the realization that I could self-hypnotize myself in a moment of meditation, of awareness, of uh, determination after many many years of training my mind and my body uh, trying not trying finding what are the things what are the beliefs what is the reality that is true to me what what am I who am I and what am I doing here just answering those massive big questions that everybody tries to answer for all of humanity what are we doing here as humans and uh, and who are we but I think that before we can answer that in the collective we have to answer it individually and I have always, always wanted to answer those questions. I'm not going to suggest that my truths have to be true to everybody. Nope. I'm going to allow the possibility that my truth may not be true to anybody else. And that would be okay will have to agree to disagree. Uh, 
in this situation, in the very present situation of stopping HIV medication, uh, I believe that medication is very useful. Yes, when you come to very dangerous levels, and especially if you don't have any support mechanism, if you don't have any discipline, if you have no idea of who you are, like no idea, like bing, zero idea of who you are and what are you doing here, it would be very, very, very difficult, at least it was for me at the beginning, to be able to stand strong and not alone, but independently, to be standing on my own two feet without uh, stabilizers. And that, that has been the purpose of my life, the mission of my life, what I've been trying to achieve all these years. Probably that's why I came here uh, to this life to achieve, to achieve that self-mastery. And, and not only that, because it's what I realized, it's not, it's not about me being able to master myself, but share the experience. Because at the end, I believe that, that we all aim for the same thing, to master ourselves, to know who you are, what are you doing here, and realize that uh, struggle, pain, fear, uh, illness, and all the shit in the world is not something to be rejected, but to be embraced in a, in a lesson way, kind of, okay, let me know who, what the fuck are you, or who are you, or uh, what can I learn from you, painful shit. Because if you are present in this, my reality, uh, there must be a reason. And if that reason can be understood, uncovered, discovered. Well, let's, let me do that. And that's what I've been trying, not trying, that's what I've been doing all my life. Gathering information, uh, however painful and difficult and uh, dark, uh, but it has been information. And with the help of HIV and the way it has been constructed in our society, in the way, in the way we understand HIV now, in the way we, we see it as, a, as an organism that destroys our ability to defend ourselves and kill the very, uh, the very system, the very same system that is capable of maintaining us strong and healthy. So that's what we know, and we know that the only way, or what the pharmaceuticals and the media and the doctors and the science uh, so far want us to believe, because that's what they believe, because that's what they discovered, uh, is that the only way to, to maintain this virus uh, controlled or like like down like don't fuck with me bitch kind of thing uh, is by taking this cocktail of of medication of drugs that suppress the ability of our cells to be damaged or uh, infected by this virus and so far, uh, it has done a truly amazing job because, obviously, I would say 99% of the people have no idea of who they are, what, what are they. 
uh, what are the, uh, the, the, the abilities and capacities of their bodies and mind and they have very reduced a picture, a perspective of what can what can be achieved through discipline, through determination, through education, and uh, so far, in my, uh, I totally, totally agree in people taking their medication. Uh, I know that there is uh, the other side of of age, as it's called, the the dissident, the the dissident side, the controversy theory, the 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 one that contradicts what is accepted, and that uh, that theory, that line of of investigation and knowledge says that, well, the virus, what is called the, the, the HIV, there is one people that says that is totally harmless. There is others that, uh, because it hasn't been isolated, it says that it's, it just puts into a lot of doubt and questions. Uh, its very existence and after listening all this I have made my own my my own uh, theory or my own I have created my own belief of what HIV is and that is that yes it's it is an organism it is uh, a, it has it has the ability to a uh, to come into your body when your body is weak, when our bodies are weak uh, through through trauma and pain and beliefs and all certain uh, all different levels of 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 I would say of difficulty and pain. Uh, that that has created in our mind a uh, hold like opportunity opportunity for this virus to 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 come and sit and create the the damage that it can create now i also believe that this virus or this organism is simply taking an opportunity where <clears throat> where it sees it if the body is weak and the cells as conscious organisms have no ability to defend themselves it's like it's like saying, well, you know something, I have nothing really, I have nothing really important to live for. So, are you going to kill me? Go for it. That's how I see it. That's how I see it. However, when you begin to realize that you have a real uh, mission, importance to be in this world, and you just want and desire with all your heart to live your life, this life, in the best way possible to enjoy it uh, in, in every dimension and in every direction, in every, every single, at every single level, from relationships to romance to career to finances to adventure to fun i mean and have have your sphere your circle of of life complete and perfectly well integrated and balanced um, and when you realize that i mean you you will defend yourself like hungry i don't know like a mother like a mother tiger or mother lioness 
something, I mean, with, with your life. You will defend yourself with your life. And if at the moment the, the, the pills is what, they, is what can they offer to you because you have at another time or the resources to do it by yourself, then, my God, do it that way. But if you are, like me, just a little bit curious of what can you do for yourself? Like, okay, this is what the pills are done because I can do it, but I cannot do it myself. But what about if I can start doing it myself for myself? And begin to, to heal yourself and begin to, to transform yourself from the inside out, from your mind to your body and in connection with all your energy bodies and, and feel that you are part of this world as important as every other organism that exists in this reality. Uh, and see, and see if, if what many people say can also be true, that our emotions and our thoughts have a huge amount of um, input of, of, you know, that are so important in our own healing. So, that is what I believe. Uh, I believe that that we can heal ourselves of everything. I mean, I have at until today. I stopped my medication on the thirtieth of September. So I have all September, all October. September, the last of September. What's the last of September? So it's October, November, and seventeen days of December. <coughs> where I stopped taking completely my medication. However, I was taking half the doses only f for over a year and a half, still as an undetectable. I haven't had any, any blood test. I'm still not sure if I want to have a blood test done. I have my appointment with a doctor on, on, in January. I'm still not sure if I want to, if I want them to draw blood from me and have all those tests. Not because, I mean mainly, because I don't want my mind filled with fear. Of course I can expect the greatest of changes, but I've done that in the past. I've done that in the past and I thought, okay, this is the day that I will receive and I will see how, how I am stronger than, than all the results in the world and uh, the tests. And I will see uh, the viral load reducing and uh, my immune system getting stronger. That never, ever, ever happened in the 10 years eight years that I lived without medication from the moment I was diagnosed till 2016. That's 10 years. That's 10 years. However, I was supposed to start the medication in 2008, two years after the, the diagnosis. Anyway, so I'm still not sure. However, the way I am now is completely different to the way I was before. So if I ever choose to allow doctors to perform tests on me, I have to be very, very aware of what they're going to say because they, they work a lot with the fear factor. They probably will say, you're going to die in six months. Ah! Well, I have heard, I've, I've been hearing you're going to die in six months since 1999. And that was with cancer. And so I think I'm doing pretty good, if not dying in six months. Um, 
So, but, however, regardless of not dying, the level of stress that I put my mind and my body in when somebody else is telling you how wrong you are and how dangerous it is what you're doing, I don't know if I need or want to hear that. Uh, on the other side, uh, I feel like I would like to have evidence when things begin to turn on my favor. Uh, but who knows? I'm still, I'm still unsure. I still don't know what's, what's, what's going to happen. I probably will wait till I'm in front of the doctor and I'm confronted with a possibility because she always asks, "Have you taken your medication every day? Have you stopped taking it any, any for any period of time?" Uh, and that's when I will be confronted to either hiding the truth. Telling a lie or telling the truth. I still don't know what I'm going to do. I will do whatever feels better for me in that moment. Uh, I will most probably tell the truth that I stopped the medication and and will what I'm not sure if if is if I will let them take blood from me. I've always been very, very uh, open to, yes, yes, draw blood. I have never said, no, stop it, stop say, I, I mean, I have never put myself to the say, no. So, I don't know. Anyway, so that's today. Today it's, a, a very good day. It's a sunny day. I had to close the, the curtains because it was so sunny that my beautiful light in front of me was just making shadows and it was horrible. Uh, and I have the day off and everything is good. I have my lymphatic... I mean, just if you've been following this and you've been uh, if, uh, seeing my progress, uh, you will see that a few weeks after I stopped the medication, uh, my lymphatic system was very reactive. So I had few glands that were swollen and painful. I can say that they are, they are back to normal. I have absolutely nothing. Thank God for that. I keep doing all my practices, keep showering with hot and cold water. I love the cold water. Is making me so resistant to the weather, especially now in winter. Really, really good. I am staying with my multivitamins, uh, multiminerals, and antioxidants, all from Usana, sold from uh, uh, from my mom. <laughs> uh, what else I'm taking? Uh, I I I needed to stop taking a pre-workout formula for the gym. Look at those babies, because. I didn't realize how how much they were messing with my nervous system. Now I reduce because I'm taking because I love it how they make me go to the gym. But I still only taking half of uh, of of that uh, of what I used to take. I'm still taking my protein shake with lots of turmeric. That's why it's yellow. Mm. Doing my meditation, Kundalini meditation. Guru Guru Wahe Guru Guru Ramdas. Guru 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 Wahe Guru Guru Ramdas. Guru. That a hundred eight times. Um, I also do my tapping, EFT, emotional freedom technique. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, what else I do? I do my also Kundalini Yoga sometimes. I don't do it as often as I should because my gym closed and I don't have enough space in my house. And I might prefer to do it at the gym. Uh, and then they're going to reopen this Thursday, the 20th, which I'm really looking forward to that. 
Uh, what else? What else can I tell you uh, about life and uh, disciplines and shit? I'm keeping very positive. Uh, sex, 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 sex. Uh, I'm beginning to feel uh, very open to the idea of sex. I, if you have been following, I've been uh, celibate. I decided not to have sex uh, with or without condom, with absolutely no one. I didn't want anyone to touch me because I felt, because I actually, it's like, I don't want their shit to come next to me. But I, I'm beginning to see myself differently as all this transformation has happened. I'm beginning to see myself as not broken or infected. I still don't want to have sex, casual sex. I don't, I don't, I don't, that's, that's, that's not the kind of relationships I, I wish for myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the people who want to have sex with me. I'm so, so... Can you believe that I had someone? I met someone. Who I told them, you know something? I, I, I told them that I'm, that I'm HIV positive. I told them that uh, I wasn't taking medication. And I told them that uh, I wasn't having sex. Well, this person begins to get obsessed of having sex with me, so he can get because he can become positive. And I'm like, a, like, oh my God, the level of madness of people, regardless of. Me now being able to stay healthy, it has taken me years of preparation and, and ups and downs and really downs and sometimes really highs. But some people are so irresponsible. I cannot believe my, I couldn't believe my, my eyes when I was like, no. No, I said, I'm sorry. And then he said, I, I signed you a paper that, uh, that you are not uh, to be blamed or responsible. He said, fuck off, people. F fuck off. I mean, I mean, the level of, I don't know, what can I call it, madness? It's not, I don't think it's madness. I, um, I don't know. I don't know. Would I do that and then if, no, no 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 i mean i cannot even think about it because because people who think that they can live without hiv medication without uh, doing anything they are so mistaken they are so mistaken unless they don't really have any traumas. They have nothing to heal. They have lived a very happy and a, a loving life. I would say, well, give it a try, but but don't do it on purpose. I mean, if it happens, happens. But don't 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 do it on purpose. It's like it's like poking the fucking bear. I mean. You have to be either very brave or very stupid. And I think the majority of people are very stupid. I don't think they're brave enough, to be honest. Anyway, this is so far what it is. 34 minutes, my longest, my longest video. I hope it will have no problem uh, uploading and the, the, the sound will be fine. Uh, if you are watching this till now, Send me your questions, get in touch. I am creating a new website called healingwithhiv.com. I'm just building it. I have nothing but few lines written on it. Uh, but in this website, I will share what I've been doing over the years, what I do right now. 
and the philosophy and the ideas just in case it can provide some support and uh, and guidance for those who are in the same boat as, as I am. Uh, till next time, I send you, as always, my cat is here, say hello. Say hello to the people. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Oh, you are too funny, baby. I send you all my love. And I wish you the very, very best in your journey. Don't fuck off with my drink. <laughs> uh, thank you, Satnam in Lakesh. Hasta la próxima. God bless.